Neil is a student teacher. He has to plan an activity day for some children. He wants to have three different activities on the activity day. The total time for the activities must be at least five hours, but not more than six hours. Plan the activity day for Neil. So what we need to do is just drag and drop these activities such that they are all different, because they all need to be different activities, and so that they last um, at least between five and six hours. Uh, I've just dragged some some boxes in. Just to, I just didn't wasn't even paying attention. Just drag three at random to see what we end up with. So we've got a three hours thirty, a one hour forty five, and a two hour fifteen. And I might have got really lucky. This might already be between five and six hours. Well, three hours thirty plus one hour forty five. We're doing three. I'm I'm, I'm going to add all these together to find the total time that it'll take for all these activities. So three hours thirty mins plus one hour forty five. Uh, let's do it one step at a time. Let's add these two together first, and then we'll add on the cinema. So three hours thirty plus one hour forty five. Well, if we add the hour on, that gets us to four hours thirty, and then we still need to add on the forty five. Now this is a, this is a bit tricky, a bit awkward because four and a half hours plus 45 minutes takes us to the next hour. Uh, maybe maybe I'll try and draw a little clock. So we're at 30 minutes and we're adding on another 45. And 45 minutes looks like that. Which means our 45 minutes takes us past the next hour and another 15 minutes past. So 4 hours 30 plus another 45 minutes takes us to 5 hours and then that was taking us to the next hour and then the other 15 as well. So that's 5 hours 15 so far. And then to 5 hours 15 we're adding another 2 hours 15. Uh, let me just clear myself some space. So 5 hours 15 plus uh, 2 hours 15. We do the same thing as before. If we add the hours first this would be 7 hours, and then 15 minutes plus another 15 minutes is 30, so 7 hours 30. Oops, that's minutes. Uh, which means that this is far too long. My first guess uh, took much too long, because it needs to be no more than 6 hours. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take one or maybe two of these out, and swap it for something a lot shorter. For example, I see that the museum visit is very long. It's one of the longest things, well, it is the longest activity I could have chosen. So I'm going to take out the museum visit, and instead I'm going to put in reading, which is significantly shorter. Uh, now let's add them up and see what they come to. So first we've got uh, one hour plus one hour 45, uh, just the hours to add up, so that's two hours 45. And onto that, if I add the cinema trip as well, which is two hours 15, well, 2 hours plus 2 hours is 4 hours, and then 45 plus 15. I'll do my clock again. Uh, there's your 45 minutes, and we're adding on another 15. And 15 minutes looks like this. So that sort of fills the gap and makes this into one whole hour together. So these two numbers together, these this many minutes, brings us to another whole hour. So I'm going to change that 4 for a 5. It's, it, it would be like saying four hours, one hour. Well, that's just five hours altogether. So, if I choose these activities, it would be five hours exactly, which is fine. Five hours is at least five hours. At least means at lowest. So, the lowest it could be is five hours, so five hours is fine. I just need to fill in at the bottom here the total amount of time it takes, which I've already worked out. And there's no working out box here either, so I don't need to worry about making sure that's showing anywhere. Total time would be 5 hours, 0 minutes, and that's it for 3 marks.